Hey, all of everybody, and welcome to the Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomized Nuzlocke. How are we all doing? Let us just jump right on in to some Ultra ma -ma 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 Moon. My settings have been saved. Ah, message from Professor Kakui. <laughs> Hang on now. Give me just a second. <laughs> hey there. Good evening. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola's rage and made up of several islands. That couldn't be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, ya? Yeah? There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You'll find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky, in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them. We call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, cutie fly, I'll play with you later, so cool your jets. <coughs> Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everyone. So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Oh. Alright, now please spell out your name, even though, like, you know, I know who you are and everything, but, you know, whatevs, yo. We are Crow. Oh, yeah. Crow. <coughs> anyway. 10 4, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way, Crow. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a drop kick right to the head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in person, cuz. Go, come help me with the boxes. What I think is funny is the fact that, like, he's just watching, like, we have a uh, webcam, and it's probably, like, showing our face and everything, but no. All right. Lily. So, anyway, let me just say thank you, everybody, for showing up to the uh, premiere for this. Excited to be sitting here watching this with all of you. I've only played regular uh, Sun, so anything new with the Ultra is brand new for me. Just like whatever those robot people are, <laughs> I don't know. But either way, I am super stoked to just jump into this and see what the heck we've got to go for today. <laughs> Three months later. Sorry, I am... I got these, uh, Reese's and I'm just snacking. This is an absolutely beautiful shot right there. Mmm. Freaking gorgeous. Excuse me, was that sacred flying over our house? Or was that a piggy peck? Here's hoping we get ourselves a sacred here. Hmm. Ah, could anything be more soothing the first evening spent under a Lola's calm moon? But like I say, out here all night. But well, that's enough of that time to unpack all these boxes. <laughs> Meow, go get crow for me. Speaking of adventures in Pokemon, I hope you all have been checking out the VODs here. Uh, I've actually am doing four days in a row of Pokemon Legends before we go back to our regular streaming schedule, which means we streamed it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and of course we're streaming it tonight. Bam. So if you haven't had a chance to catch up or see what I've been doing, you need to. It's been amazing. Look at that Jigglypuff rug and that Pikachu on our bed. And the Eevee bud sheet. Hehe. <laughs> I 
An autograph from a gym leader in Cantel. Shame you can't see which gym leader it is. Oh, it's a game console. You can even take outside and play. I would love a Snorlax cushion. It's said to be so ruinously comfy that you could waste away your whole life lazing about on one. Gladly. So here's hoping that this game has a faster start than the original. <laughs> you were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already night here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto. Uh, but then we were, are so far away here in Alola. Are you excited to meet some Alola Pokemon? Heck yes. All right, but I want to hurry up and meet some too. I'm living in Alola region right now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly Pokemon are here are. Alright, go. Go get some adventuring. Go get your bag and your hat. And don't forget to check out your adventure rule book. Oh, this plays so smoothly. Also, her sense of style is not the best, but... Hopefully we have a chance to uh, change that. I can't remember if we can actually customize our outfits. I'm pretty sure we can. Wait, is, does this also have it? I think I accidentally discovered the spinning in this game. I can't remember. Now you look ready for anything. Oh, but even so, Crow, try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up towards Iki Town and see what you can discover? Meow. Yeah, yeah, I did discover it. <laughs> I accidentally discovered this, and then I tried it in uh, Sword and Shield, and I was very pleasantly surprised that it worked. Is that Iki Town? Well, we can't go that way. What's over here? Watch it, cuz! It's dangerous to get close to the Pokemon while it's using one of its moves. Aw, it's a rock bath. Look at that night sky, though. I still can't tell if that's a Murkrow. No, that's a Murkrow. That's absolutely a Murkrow. God, look at that sky, though. Yeah, that's a Murkrow. Oh, there's so many amazing shots for us. Power of science is amazing. You can enjoy a festival with people from around the world without taking a step. Every day could be a festival. <laughs> Something's coming at you from the tall grass. Oh no! Ah! Yangus. It's attacking. <laughs> Aww. Aww. They're protecting us. <laughs> what a bunch of cuties. Aww. They came to rescue us. Hey there, cousin. Ugh. Hang on, I know you. You're Crow, right? You okay? I saw you got attacked like that. Yeah, but I got a bit of help. Looks like you did, though. I sure didn't expect that, yeah? I didn't think these little fellows would dash out on their own to help save a stranger. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kakui, yeah! The Pokemon professor. People in Pokemon live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget. You can go anywhere, yeah? As long as you got Pokemon in your corner. Well, Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass, yeah? Just waiting to jump out and bite? Yeah, but it'll be fun if you got a partner of your own. Hey there. Hey, let me introduce the Pokemon that helped you just now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. Who coincidentally was our starter in Legends Arceus. A fire type Pokemon Litten. And of course, the Paplio Bwark. You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Whoa! 
<laughs> Maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on. Choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cuz. All right, who are we gonna get? We've got... Why don't you go ahead and choose? So we have a Ralts, a Bulbasaur, and a Picky Pick? Oh, burp. Pick a peck works hard, makes some pretty awesome balloons. <laughs> you want to go with a normal type pick a peck? Mm -mm. We got ourselves a burb. Would I like to give Picky Peck a name? <laughs> Would I ever? All right. We need a flying name here. Okay. All right, so we got some comments with some names. Let's see. All right, let's go with Arrow. Thank you, Adam. Say hello to our first Pokemon, Arrow the Picky Peck. So I'll be completely honest, I am very unfamiliar with this generation, so. So you went with Pick a Peck. Ooh, what a fine looking team you are. Now that you can have Pokemon medals, you're what we call a Pokemon trainer. It's a Pokeball for Picky Peck, too. Should feel nice and cozy in there. All right, let's get up to Icky Town. Time to meet the Alan Kahuna. Alan Kahuna? Truth is, that partner pa Picky Peck of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cuz. May not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting into a battle with one. Icky Town is right up here. Bow, bow. Get Picky Peck there in that Pokeball I gave you. No, let my Pokemon follow behind me. Damn. All right, let's take a look at Arrow. Ability is comatose. It's always drowsing and will never wake up. It can attack without wake, wait, what? So is Picky Peck just permanently asleep? Does that mean I can't get stacked? I'm... Let's see what else we can get here. Ooh. This music. Oh, that battle screen. Oh, this is sleek. So the problem is that's electric. <laughs> we could already be in some trouble. Thankfully, we do not have any Pokeballs yet. So because of that, we are fine for now. However... Actually, we might be fine. So Electrode's gonna try to do the super effective move against us, right? I think it only knows Tackle and Charge. Oh no, Sonic Boop, that does exactly 20. That this is why we need to grind right now. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, we could be in some trouble. 
All right, let's try that again. We love you, sacred. Please join my team. Please come join me on an adventure. No. Uh-oh. Stop it! Uh-oh. We could be in some big trouble. We need to level up. <laughs> Which means we need to find something we can find. <laughs> we could be in some trouble here, guys. <sighs> oh, God. There's some great potential mons here. But also, we could be in a lot of trouble here. Alright, I think I can kill this. Oh god, it has quick attack. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill it next turn. Okay, good. Alright, back down to mom to heal. Welcome to the slowest start of Pokemon you've ever dig dang dang darn seen. Cause uh <laughs> Oh boy! We're in for a treat. So anyway. Uh let's talk about Pokemon Legends Arceus while I'm just grinding up so we don't immediately lose the Nuzlocke. Um this game. Arceus has been better than I expected. And like, God, I just want to keep playing it. Like, it's just, it's just been so much fun. Anyway, you know, I'm not even like that far into it, but like, Holy crap, it's so much fun! Like, I've been just enjoying taking my time doing things, just kind of exploring, filling out our Pokedex, building teams, discovering everything that's brand spanking new. Oh god, if it does that again, we die. Um, just, you know, there's just so much in Legends Arceus that's brand new for us to discover. God dang it! We are so close to killing Entei. Um, but I think that's why it's so great. You know, it's it's new. And it's great. This newness and the new, like, new forms, the new way of handling the game, like... In my opinion, it is a much better break from Pokemon Tradition than uh, Let's Go was. Like, Let's Go was, you know, it was an adventure, sure, but like, they made Pokemon easy. Which, of course, the entire point of Let's Go was to change up the formula, take it from the Pogo style, and add it into, like, enough to make, you know, pull some old fans in. As well as get the new ones into, like, the hardcore main series. So, in effect, it did what it needed to do, which was, you know, raise the popularity of Pokemon and get new people into it. But... It didn't really add much to Pokemon as a whole. And I think Legends Arceus has opened up an entire new style for Pokemon to be enjoyed by people. Which is exactly what I think has been necessary, you know. And with newer gens, like, consoles and everything coming out, like, ah, uh, it's just, you know, it's gonna be great. Let's care for our picky pack. So that, uh, it loves us more. Yes. We will make him very affectionate and give it little toe beans! Yes. No, 
That's not what you want. We will care for you. We will groom for you. I don't have any toe beans for you. Now, something I learned last time. I should absolutely freaking save now. <laughs> because I managed to crash my game by opening up the Pokemon Plaza after playing for like two hours. And I never saved. So I had to redo two hours worth of gameplay and I was not very thrilled about that. <laughs> As I'm sure you could imagine. Anyway. But yeah, like, so yeah, if you haven't had an opportunity, check out, you know, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And of course, you know, continue watching these Nuzlocks, of course. I usually like a faster start for a Nuzlocke, but you know what? Hey. We'll take it. We'll take whatever we can. We got ourselves a comatose freaking arrow. Still not fully sure what that does for me, but you know what? We'll do what we can. I fully believe in our power. I fully believe in our ability to win. Alright, if we fight just Lucario's, we will be more than fine. Like I said, the thing I'm most afraid of is those electric attacks. Electric, ice, anything like that will destroy us. Uh, we will groom in order to help guarantee that, you know, Picky Peck loves us and will get more crits. Dodge more attacks as well as just be better. <laughs> I never fully understood the purpose of like getting a big friendship, like your Pokemon loves you by like caring for it and everything until like it was literally pointed out to me. It's like, hey, you do this, it's gonna hit more often. It's gonna get more crits. It's gonna avoid more hits. Um, let's get to level A. Yeah, let's get to eight and then we'll continue forward. We're almost there, so. But anyway. Uh, as I said, I'm incredibly rusty in this game. So any help you guys can give in terms of like, hey, you missed a free item, or hey, do this, or hey, uh, here's a fun fact. Lay it all on me, guys. I didn't actually mean to hit that, but whatever. Uh, and so, uh, if this move is used every turn, its power is increased, eh? Ah! More power! That was a lot of power. More power! Imagine pairing that up with a metronome held item where the more you use the same attack over and over, the stronger it gets. Oh boy! We're talking some power! Ah, shit! I was hoping it would also have, like, slow start or something that would be super awesome for us. Oh god, a clang with speed boost? That's broken! How many times have I seen these electric types with speed boost? It's just. Ugh. The worst. I 
I need one more turn after this and I can kill them, I think. I can kill them next turn. If they don't kill me, I can kill them. I believe in it. I believe that I can win. I believe that I can win. No, we lost. We were a hit away, guys. A freaking hit away. <gasps> no! Dang it. Close, but no, Swigar. <sighs> I knew we were pushing our luck on that one, but... I mean, sometimes you just gotta try. Because you never really know, you know? Like... You're gonna jump into some of these fights and just be like... It could happen. Wow, there's a lot of different options in here, yo. Charmeleon, right? But, um... Yeah, I think our best bet right now is truly just let's... You know, we're getting some levels. Um... We're getting a good idea of our strengths, of our weaknesses, as well as what Pokemon are gonna be in this area. So that we can decide, is it worth us trying whoops, to um, grind now? Or, like, catch something here now? Because, like, if it's an electrode, we need to run as fast as we can. A sonic boom is devastating. No, we gotta get out. We are faster than it, so our runaway should be basically guaranteed. But, um, yeah, gosh. This is not what I expected when I was gonna start this. Ah! Okay, Entei. We almost beat Entei last time. Thirty-five. I mean, this is the stronger attack. Period. Extra sensory. I think we would survive a lava plume if it used it right now. Okay, good. And it's a legendary, so this should give us a lot. No, I think the EXP is standardized. Dang it. Choices! <laughs> Always worth a try. Well, it was also level 2, but no, that should have still given us a lot. Just like if we fought a Blissey right here and now, like... We'd be getting EXP out the wa 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 zoo Excellent. Another slow start Luminion. This should be the last fight we need to do. In order for me to feel comfortable, just... Moving right ahead. Level 8. It's not the highest level, but it'll still allow us to catch a Pokemon, hopefully. Depending on what it is. If it's an Electrode, we gotta run. Like, no question about it, we have to run if it's an Electrode. Because we have to get out of there. But at level 8, we should be able to survive anything in the first two rounds that doesn't have, like, Explosion or, like, Thunderbolt, Thunder... Hyper Beam, Blizzard, Ice Beam, Aurora Beam, Sheer Cold. We'd survive a Fisher, thankfully. But that's only because it wouldn't affect us. Unless they have Gravity and Fisher, at which point it would affect us and it would be devastating. Timba! I love how as we are leaving and done grinding, the first thing we get is a Pokemon we can one-shot with Peck. Typical. Where were you when we were level 5? Ah. You damn wastrels. Anyway. 
We can win this. <laughs> I love the Murkrows flying in my face. Oh, I really hope we get one. We should be able to. If you have to pick up a potion, use it if your Pokemon's low on HP. It's a terrain expander? Now I'm the hell extends the duration of a train caused by the user's hold mover ability. Huh. Okay. <gasps> Dedene! Hello, Dedene! Hello, widow, Dedene! That's why you, uh, shake your little tail at us. Alright, echoed voice, let's go. Freaking innards out, dude! I love how we're like, Hoi, howie! Hey, hey, which Pokemon are you gonna choose as your partner? Have you decided? Oh, yeah, I'm How. Couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. Bark. Whoa, your Papi is so cool. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, How. We had a little accident on our way here, so I ended up letting Crow choose her partner first without you. Fair enough, I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of these two, How. Then my partner will be Litten. I choose you! Aloha, friend. I've decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. I'm gonna do so much awesome stuff together, just you wait and see. Fessa, you'll take good care of Riley, right? You better believe it, how? Alright then, Riley, everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Wait up, mean Litten and favorite ass beer. Opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together. Sure. Hold on, before you two step into the ring, let's make sure Poplio is up to it. I forget who his starter is. It's either Ralts or Bulbasaur. All right, I'm seriously gonna enjoy this. A gentleman Mia. Oh, we got Bulbasaur. Isn't that just perfect? We still have the type advantage. Imagine if Bulbasaur had slow start or something. Ha! We lucked out. Ah! Let's care for it. Our first defeat. Sorry, Litten. It's okay. Litten doesn't remember anything. Because you don't got one, kid. You got a Bulbasaur. <laughs> wow, that was awesome, Crow. You and your popular were so cool. Gotta have the... You've gotta have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know? Right on, Crow. You and Hal both brought out the best and your partners have pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah? You can tend right up those stairs. Come on, Crow. You should totally come check out Tiki Town. Iki Tiki Biki Town. Bronze on. Uh, we're not fighting you. That would take all together way too freaking long. He's damn slow and he's damn thick. Y'all remember him. Our own Bronzong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you know what that means, guys? 
The Nuzlocke has officially started. Oh no! Well, there's our Route 1 encounter. It was a fucking Kiram. Thanks. Ah! Ugh. If it had been anything else, we could have tried for it. It would have freaking. And right here, this right here is Iki Town. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Ta Island. Tapu Koko keeps us safe and happy, see? Looks like the Kahuna is nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island, right? Yeah, the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. I'm gonna go stop at my home for a second. I gotta show my mom my Litton. I got an idea for you, girl. Head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. Why don't you go introduce yourself? If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the garden deed yourself. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the Kahona comes back. Mm. I'm so upset. Now we've already lost our encounter. And sorry, those are the rules. We officially got any kind of a Pokeball. Now, I could have reworded it so that the uh, rule is any kind of... Uh, once the gang gives you the balls, but now, I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins, so please stay in the bag. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you. Lily! Look at those sad eyes. Ah! What's wrong? Help! I must save Nebby! Nebby the little nebula. Pew! Those spirits are attacking it, but I'm not a trainer. I can't! Please! Please save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Oh god, it's a real battle. Oh god, we could lose here. We don't have potions. We don't have anything. All we've got is our belief in the crow. Oh my god, that's Ash Grand Ninja. Oh no! Oh no no! Oh no no! Oh no no! Oh, I was truthfully incredibly af afraid that we were going to, like, be in trouble here. Oh, I'm making you guys sweat. Rock smash? Sure. You may chase off one of the spirit, but oh, there's some more. Please, safe. Please. Looks like that attack may have damaged the plank bridge, too. Can you heal me again? Shit.
<laughs> Little Nebby just like, oh. Awesome. Pew. Oh, oh, thank goodness you tried using your powers again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. What? What is that? A pew pew! A sparkling stone feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Where are you? I'm I'm Lily, and I suppose this stone must belong to you. Please don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Aw oh, man. It's still a cool scene, seeing it everything, but like, you know. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you can see us back to town? Ugh. Escort missions. <laughs> Oh, Crow, you already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, ya? Yeah? Lily, I thought you were with a Kahona. Karahala? He said he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just, um, taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail while I waited for him to return. That's how uh, you met our new neighbor, Crow, huh? She just got to Alola yesterday. Help her find her way around, yeah? So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. Kahuna's back. Kahuna all has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Alola, yeah? Yeah? So yeah, basically, even the totem Pokemon are gonna be randomized and their helpers, so that just adds a whole nother layer to this. Have I missed something? There you are, Kahunahala. Was there some kind of trouble? Nah, I just got caught up in the middle of some brawling rough rough, that's all. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Yeah, oh, um, yes, Kahunahala. Nebby got attacked by some spear on the plank bridge, and Crow here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. That was when the guy, island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Ooh, that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahona of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui to to told me of your coming. Glad we got a chance to meet today. <laughs> Pew. Oh, when did you get out again? I know the Kahona Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems so I've taken a liking to you. I, I have read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know? Alright, here's a lovely gift for me to help make your day special, Crow. Pokedex. Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet, yeah? Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered. Oh, yeah, so check it out. And this is the trainer passport. Well, you got to meet the Kahuna at last. Ready to head home now, Crow? Oh, really? That's it? Cool. Oh, yeah, Crow, hold up a sec. What is it? How did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell everyone for wandering off for a little stroll and sing without a word, huh? Hmm, Crow, would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Could it be? Toto, isn't that... 
You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Crow? Yeah, it rescued me. So it even dined to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola Crow because the, this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow the stone for a bit. Fair not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. Yeah, the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see the light within you too. You must do us the honor of joining in our festivities tomorrow. Uh, first, I make sure you get home safe. Lily, you two should come with us. Wouldn't want to lose you twice in one day. There's Nebby. Oh, you. Would you try not to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? Oh, Nebby. Oh. Welcome back, Crow. So, what do you think of Kakunahala? Oh, and look what you've got with you. Came running out to help you? What a sweet little thing. Right there on round one. And it saved you. That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. So, if you look great together, I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. I think it's amazing, too, that our burb is also in the spot of our usual water type. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, the next day. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Hmm. Is that the doorbell? Go see who it is. Ah. Uh. Couldn't wait, could ya, Kakui? Hey, that crowd's about time we set off for the festival, yeah? But first, I've got to, I've got something to teach you, you know. Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, it's the most basic of all basics. Come on, the right one. Fun of the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. What, Mom's not even gonna come to the festivities? <laughs> Grow, hurry up! Pretend you're a Pokemon! Use your agility! God, she's slow. Man, that man has some ugh, attitude, yo. I don't know. Bottom. Yeah, over here! So you know that wild Pokemon sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got popular there. Poplio there. You can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try to catch them too. Whoa! I'm gonna show you how to catch wild Pokemon. Keep your eyes on the prize. Alright, now he's just gonna teach us how to do the same thing we've been doing for literally decades at this point. Ah, God. Oh. Yeah, 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 Kakui, I know. You act like I've never Pokemon before. Gosh, part of me wants to say that, you know, the first day doesn't count everything. Ah. No. I'm sticking by the rules, I'm not making any exceptions. We got a ball, we ran into a Kyurem, and we ran, because we had to. Alright, got myself a Grubbin. Well, Pokemon do sometimes attack people, they get close enough to catch them, and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? If your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah? And some Pokeballs and potions. Down, ba da 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 Alright. Now we just gotta head up to the town. This is what our real first encounter would have been, and it's a Pharisee. You know what? I'm okay with not having an encounter here. Uh, you're bug and steel, so this should be neutral. God, yeah, I, I'm excited to see, like, exactly where we're gonna be going, how everything's gonna be, like, just everything to 
come through Ultra Moon. Because obviously, like I said before, I've played Sun before. Yeah, I played Sun on stream, and you can actually catch the. Oh, an axe, you. Don't worry. Don't forget, we do have the Dragon Rage Claws active. But, um. I'm excited to see what is new in Ultra Moon from Sun. If you also don't know, I would recommend that you check out the VOD up here on YouTube of my Sun playthrough. And you'll understand why it's a joke, why I don't understand that a certain Pokemon's a Pokemon, because every time, <laughs> every time a certain Pokemon showed up, I can't remember which one it was, and I'd be just like, that's a Pokemon? What Pokemon's that? What's it typing? And then a motive every time would be like, I just told you that five minutes ago. And I'm just like, I don't remember. When the eyes of Pokemon trainers meet, you know what's going to happen, right? A Pokemon battle, yeah? Please don't have electric. Please don't have ice. Please don't have an amazing fucking strong dragon type. Like a Kiram. Okay, this will be interesting. So, we are normal type, so it cannot hit us with ghost. But it's also a flying type. So we're not gonna, okay, we did a lot. Okay. I'm just gonna say right now, we are incredibly squishy. Less squishy than if we were a Ralts, but we're still pretty damn squishy right now. Bulbasaur would have been probably the strongest choice for us. Just in terms of, like, um, survivability as well as he is a bulky mon. But I didn't want a Bulbasaur, you know? Let's get new things going, you know? Unless there was an absolutely horrible choice. But we don't seem to have had that. Dun, dun. An Aspear Berry. Go for it, Caterpie. Show me the power of those bugs. Botanist Joe. Skrelp. Ah, uh, this thing. At least they're all, like, level 3, but, like, that still doesn't prevent them from, like, not being scary, you know? Like, there's a lot of Pokemon out there that even at low levels are very, very terrifying, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'm a good example of that, too. Like, look at the finale, you know? For last, we were under-leveled when we went in, you know? Sometimes it just happens, yo. We're just amazing. Wait, what? Oh, I had to blow dry you. Cute. I grabbed the towel because, you know, I was going to dry him off. You know, towel him off. Um, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, we're good for now. Rockruff staring at me. Turn to the right. You want to keep playing with me? Okay. Let's play peekaboo. <laughs> ah! Stare. Spinny. Oh, 
Aw, oh, I'm so happy. Boo! <laughs> Rockcroft's really friendly poem. You should try playing with it. Oh, I did. Oh, I absolutely did. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances, yo. Hey, please battle me, kid. Yo. Anyway. What an adorable gent, Veronica. All right, we've already fought a Charmeleon, so we should be golden here. What I'm worried for is what looks like a bunch of the Aether Foundation people. It's either them or it's like team losers. It's a strong child. Measuring the aura readings here, the numbers appear to be a bit high. What do you think, Captain? Hmm. What was that? Did you say something? I was, well, I was certainly not distracted by this foolish display of festivity. So there are aura readings in this place. Perhaps it may be the effects of that one they call the island Kahona. Everything is so bright here in Alola. Far brighter than we had been told it would be. I find it loathsome, this awful brightness. Even though this is the light we have sought for so long. I yes, I suppose you're right. We must carry out our investigations to return the light to our own world as well. Before the blinding one can awaken. What is this? You. You're not native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from far away. Well, that's a little weird. Okay, that could have been bad. But anyway, this is a great place for us to leave it off anyway. Uh, thank you everybody for um, joining for this uh, premiere. I hope you all enjoyed, of course. You know, if you haven't gotten a chance to get some names in, which I see a lot of you have. You know, if you want to add to it, go right on ahead. If you're satisfied with what you've got so far, then let's leave it as is, you know. Uh, we're just gonna dive right into some Ultra Moon and just, well, this could be one of our toughest challenges yet. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody, stay funky purple.